Steamboat Geyser in Yellowstone National Park erupted again Monday morning, and a visitor managed to capture the steaming spectacle on video. The geyser, which spews the world's tallest jet of hot water, reaching heights of 90 to 120 m eaters, 300 to 400 f eat, began its activity just after 9 a.m. local time. It appears to be maintaining its roughly 6 to 8 Dalton Z cycle, erupting around 9.05 a.m. MDT today. The U.S. anythings their non anythings 17 Geological Survey tweeted, How long do you think this will last? Like all living things, Yellowstone's geysers, mud pools, hot springs, and fumaroles ebb and flow, steam and spray, spray and rain, and rise and fall. Such shifting patterns sometimes reveal nothingness. And that appears to be the case with Steamboat, the world's largest active geyser. Although Steamboat, located in the park's Norris Geyser Basin, has erupted eight times this year, a relatively unusual activity for a geyser that can go years without erupting, the activity likely doesn't indicate anything special, according to those who monitor Yellowstone. Scientists don't yet know why Steamboat Geyser erupts or ejects so much air. In a new study, researchers at the University of California, Berkeley, explored the answers to these questions. UC Berkeley Geosciences professor Michael Manga said Steamboat Geyser is chaotic. What's special about Steamboat Geyser is that it's the tallest geyser in the world right now, he said. It's also known for its episodic activity. It'll be quiet for decades, then suddenly erupt, then maybe erupt a few times, then quiet down again. UC Berkeley Geosciences researcher Mara Reed said Steamboat has been active since 2018. However, this is not typically the case. This is a geyser that can have eruption intervals, the time between eruptions, anywhere from three days to 50 years, he said. But when Steamboat erupts, you can't miss it, Reed said. Steamboat is truly unmatched when it comes to geysers, he said. Its massive eruptions can shoot air 110 meters into the air. It's just a giant column of water rising when it erupts. Reed said Steamboat is also unique because of the vast amount of data it has. Locals collect eruption data, and scientists have the equipment to measure it. It's really cool because it's collected by geyser enthusiasts. It's a huge data collection effort, he said. It's a real example of citizen science. Reed and Manga used this data to try to answer a simple question. Why did Steamboat start erupting more frequently in 2018? The most dramatic answer is the idea that Yellowstone Volcano might be erupting. We have geysers at Yellowstone because Yellowstone is a volcano. Manga said. There's magma and molten rock underground that heats the air at the surface, and that air is what erupts inside the geysers. So, you might think that if fresh magma is injected underground, it releases fluids that could then create new geysers or make Steamboat active again. The team measured the air temperature at Cistern Spring, which is connected to Steamboat. Warmer temperatures might indicate that Yellowstone Volcano is becoming more active. By looking at the chemical composition of that air and what's dissolved in it, we can roughly determine the temperature of the geothermal reservoir that supplies the air to the spring," Reed said. Since 2000, we haven't seen any changes, significant changes, in that data. The fact that there was no change in temperature means Yellowstone is unlikely to erupt To confirm this, they also observed dormant geysers nearby. Manga said no other dormant geysers were erupting at the same time as Steamboat. He also said they didn't find any unusual earthquake activity. However, they did find one change. They used satellites to observe infrared light redder than the human eye can see, and measured how much heat the Yellowstone area radiates into space. This could be another indicator of volcanic activity. Uh, the values did increase over time, but only slightly. 